Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In this training tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a CT scan as part of your digital aligner tooth setup. You'll be able to align your upper and lower models to your CT scan and consider the root placement when you're doing the digital aligner setup. A couple of comments before we get started. We are planning a quite significant upgrade to this functionality in our next software release, so I'm very excited to mention that. This demonstration, I'm gonna use the 4.94 version of the Blue Sky Plan software, but as I mentioned in our next release, we should have a significant upgrade to this functionality. You can also see the message that we've pushed out on the bottom, complete clear aligner packages starting at $4.99, so you could order if you would like help with the digital planning and with the aligner manufacturing, you could order the complete aligner package starting at $4.99. Click on the link for more information. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the tutorial by clicking on orthodontics, aligners, and import patient CT scan. Okay, I've navigated to a location on my computer that has a CT scan of this patient. Click on OK. I'm going to select the relevant DICOM data set. Here we see an ad, by the way, if you don't want to outsource the entire case, just want to get help with the digital design, then that's starting at $49 per case. And that includes a free remote monitoring scope. Click on add, see more information. Okay, click on okay. Define the relevant field of view. What's very important here is you want to multi-select, hold down the shift key and highlight both files so you could import both files into your case. Go ahead and click on OK. Here we're going to choose Maxilla. And we're going to use the top section here for the automatic alignment. So I click Maxilla and I click Align. If for whatever reason the automatic alignment is not accurate, you want to use the points functionality. That's why we have it on the screen here. But if the automatic alignment looks good in the 3D view and the 2D view, then just go ahead and use the automatic alignment. Okay, so we see our maxilla is now aligned. We want to click confirm alignment and continue. Now it's going to bring up for us our mandible, click align. Now we have the mandible aligned as well, so we're going to click continue or OK. And now we have our models imported into our case. Let's switch over to our orthodontics panel and click continue to draw alignment. At this point, we're going to continue with the quote unquote normal process flow that you would have if you were just importing models as well. I'm holding down the shift key. I'm left clicking on the buckle corners of each tooth. And regarding this as well, I'm very happy to announce that we have a very significant upgrade coming regarding this functionality as well. Um, and as I mentioned, shift key left clicking when I want to mark a missing tooth, I shift key and right click to place a blue dot there and indicate the tooth is missing. So I'm following the indication on the chart that we have here on the right side and continuing to mark two dots on the buckle corners of each tooth. Right click, finish teeth marking, close model, continue with mandible. Gonna mark uh, two dots on the buckle corners of each tooth here as well. As we can see, this isn't the perfect uh, data set, but it demonstrates our purposes for this tutorial. Oh, here we go, we have a problem here. I missed that. Clear all teeth, let's do that again. Okay, 
There we go. Finish teeth marking, close model. Okay, continue to teeth segmentation. Okay, we now have the teeth segmentation from the model. For the purpose of this video, we're not going to go through the different uh, many features and functionalities that we have regarding this. We are going to uh, take the suggestion of the software, the automatic proposal, and we are going to continue. Continue with the mandible, continue the model trimming. Continue with mandible. Continue teeth moving. We're just taking the default proposals for the purpose of this video. Okay, now we have the option of show virtual tooth. We can see the checkbox on the bottom. So we're going to be doing the digital uh, tooth setup. What we're able to do is to add a virtual tooth to each crown. So you could see that I had clicked on a crown. I clicked show virtual tooth, and now I have a virtual tooth added. So right now, this is pulling from a library of virtual teeth. It's an indication of where the roots can possibly be. So the positioning of the tooth, I could go ahead and update in any of my views and I can improve the alignment. And once I've finished improving the alignment, then the virtual tooth is going to be tacked to the crown. And when we do any I could turn off adjust position and now when we do any movement whether it's right now to do the digital tooth setup or it's showing the movement over time the virtual tooth is going to move with it so I could go and go through my individual teeth and click show virtual tooth and go ahead and confirm the positioning and the line virtual tooth as I mentioned earlier this functionality is going to be getting a significant upgrade in our next uh, software release so Stay tuned for that. Okay, so regarding functionality, the way that it works now is if you go ahead and click on a virtual tooth, that becomes the active tooth. You could go ahead and you could update it in any of the 2D or 3D views. Um, once you've aligned the virtual tooth, you could go ahead and do the digital tooth setup. So we could go ahead and snap all our teeth in the mandible, and we could see that the roots moved with that. And then just for demonstration, if we click continue to edit steps, and we go through the slider here, then we can see that as our teeth move, the roots of the virtual teeth move as well. So once we've aligned the virtual teeth and we've done our digital tooth setup, we could use our the fun different functionality that we have in the software to export the video, to add the buttons, to export the models, design the liner trim curve, etc., and everything else that we have here and we could finish up the case using the standard steps.